To write the balanced net ionic equation for iron 3 chloride plus ammonium phosphide, first we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I've already balanced it with this coefficient of 3 in front of the ammonium chloride. Next, based on the solubility rules, we write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with the chlorine, chlorides, they're very soluble, and compounds with the ammonium ion, also very soluble. So these substances are all soluble, aqueous, will break apart into their ions. Phosphates in general are insoluble with just a few exceptions. And iron phosphate, it's insoluble. That means it's a solid. It's going to be a precipitate, you know, fall to the bottom of the test tube or the beaker as a solid, as a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That's going to look like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, I see three chloride ions. I also see three chloride ions in the products. Let's cross that out. Three ammonium ions here in the reactants and three in the products. We get rid of those. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for iron three chloride plus ammonium phosphate. Let's remove our spectator ions. And this is our balanced net ionic equation. You'll note the atoms are balanced and the charge is balanced. We have three plus, three minus. That adds up to zero, net charge of zero. The products here, they're neutral, net charge of zero. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus NH43PO4. Thanks for watching.